All right, guys, so we just beat the main campaign of the game. I'm actually waiting for people to vote on some of the rewards tonight because of all the contributions that have been so high. But what I'm trying to figure out is where I go next. People said that there's challenge, a challenge mode to do with all these extra, extra stages. Go to main game. Okay. Who should I pick? Who's this guy? Jet? What the flip? Jet. Sure, let's pick him. Challenge mode. Is this it? Yeah, look. Super Monkey Ball 1, Super Monkey Ball 2 challenge mode. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I may be screwed. But anyway, let's try it. All right. Casual, normal, expert. Now, what's the difference? Should I just try it casual just to see what it is before we go too far into it? Let's just try casual. All right. Just to see. Lane. Ready? Go! Go! Oh, I can tell you this is much harder. <laughs> uh, Carl and Jr. just start on casual. Every They're all completely unique Go. stages. So, you want to start on casual, so you'll see every stage in the game. Oh, I see. Go. This is a caveman. Caveman monkey. Yeah. Hairpin. So hairpin turn. Go. I think there's a hairpin turn stage. Chocobogo took me $1.50 and says, I remember watching some dude playing the arcade version of this game. He was using a big trackball to control the game. I thought it was cool, but it was so talented at the game. Dude, I can imagine this being Ready? pretty freaking challenging Go. on a trackball. Seriously. Just tilting with the thumbstick is tough, right? Huh. Okay. Colin Jr. says, these particular stages in this, this mode I'm doing right now, casual run, are actually the same stages from the original Monkey Ball arcade game. Oh, that's neat to know. That's actually very neat to know. Okay. So, by the way, the pilot hat has won. What a shock. Let's end that poll. And then we're going to have a poll for the vest tonight. Which vest is monkey best? We'll do the beige, the red. Oh, fuck. The red, the denim, and the camo. Those will be the four vests for tonight. So, let's go ahead and get the... Pilot's hat on, so that's what you guys voted for. We haven't seen this in a few days. Very good. Okay. All right. Here we go. So this one, I have to time. Yes, you have to go across the bridge. So you have to be patient. There's bananas behind it. You probably have to roll like super carefully to get those. Oh no, I got them right there. I see. Oh, people are voting on the vet. Oh wow, the voting's going all over the place. Carlton Jr. says in the point shop you can buy a mode that reskins the stages to look like the original arcade version. You can also go to casual, normal, and hard also. Ready? What is this called? Bonus basic? Go! How does this work? Wait, what? Do you have to get all the bananas? I think you have to collect every banana. Perfect! Yep, there's a banana collection stage. That's different. Do, 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 do. DC, this is Aloha. How Super Monkey Ball, I got a space haiku. Space is so cool. It's Ready? spacey like Kevin Spacey. See what I did there. Go. <laughs> Thank you. We did. We actually just defeated the space stage to complete the campaign. But I still appreciate the space haiku. So these are very simple, but of course, this is just the beginning. I'm sure just like the main game, remember, 
they started off real easy. And then within like 20, 30 stages, all of a sudden they all got hard as hell. And I was like, oh fuck. All right. Hey, I, I says I should dress like a super monkey ball character for Halloween. You guys have no idea what my Halloween costume is this year. I didn't even give you guys a single hint. No, Ready? I did not. I didn't give you a single hint about what it is. Because you guys voted Phil's choice. You allowed me to pick my costume. So, you screwed yourselves, essentially. <laughs> you really screwed yourselves out of an opportunity there. I'm just saying. But, okay. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, you guys are voting for a vest right now. Denim's in the lead, but I think it's actually... Is it close? Let's see. It's... Uh, it's pretty close. Well, a lot of people would have to vote for Cambo to basically make it win. Oh, shit. What the... Look at this. <laughs> I tried to... I tried to... I'm so stupid. Why did I do that? You have to wait for it to stretch out, obviously. That was really dumb of me. There we go. I like the background. This is pretty oh, shit! I was in the background. I got distracted. Ready? Go. But anyway, yeah, I like the background of this one. It's like this cool... I don't know, floating temples and shit. It looks nice. Very good. I don't know, are they the Shin Black wants to know? Are these the stages for the GameCube game? Probably uses yes they are. Ready? Go! Jump single? Oh, you have to do a jump. See this? Oh, that was easy. Banana! These are arcade or GameCube stages. So. Guts says the game gives me a Dragon Ball vibe on King Kai's world. <laughs> yeah. Ready? Ex why is this called Exam A? Go. Wait a minute. Like exam? It was like a school exam or a doctor's exam? Oh god. I don't know if I like this. Oh shit! God damn it! Ready? Go. Carlos says celebratory haiku, temple in the sky, beautiful music to chill, fantastic gameplay. <laughs> there you go. People, people, you know, I have to say something. The haikus from you guys are awesome. This all started last year when I was playing uh, Ghost of Tsushima for the first time. And you guys really enjoyed putting together haikus in particular. I think it was actually Jachirdi of uh, my moderator team who started putting together haikus in particular when we went to certain areas of the game because there were haikus in the game and it was cool to, to have haikus of our own pertinent to the stream. And then it's really caught on. And, you know, quite a few people are doing the haikus now. I like them. Personally, I like poetry. I do. I'm a big poetry buff, as you guys know. Oh, shit! I was thinking about 575 and I got distracted. You see that? <laughs> I'm a huge fan of poetry. I'm a, a huge poetry buff, if you guys didn't know. <laughs> of course. Oh my god. <laughs> I suck. I suck. It's an easy ass stage compared to all the stages I've done and I can't do it. I suck ass. Yes. Gothic poet Edgar Allan Dope quotes the raven. Man, you suck! <laughs> you you suck at this! Shut up, Raven! Ah, you suck ass! Alright, come on, I gotta do it this time. Yeah. 
no, no, no. Go straight. Come on! It gets more narrow the further in you go here. See? It gets narrower and narrower. Byron fan? Oh, come on now. Lord Byron was a poser. Everyone knows that. Ready? Look at this one. This is 11 of 13. Ooh, it's extendo platform. Look at that. Extendo. I like that. Nice. This is, these are all new stages, new, new areas and everything. See that? I like that. All right. Whoa. Hitter? Ready? Go! Go! What? That was actually the stage? Okay. Banana plate. Final stage. Ready? Whoa, look at the wobble wobbles. Holy shit. Do the wobble wobble. Do the wobble wobble. If you fucked up, you're on the part of the banana you can't get to the gate. <laughs> Ready? Go. Do the wobble. Oh, I actually gotta put on a vest. Let me finish the banana plate. We'll do it. Do the wobble wobble with me. Oh, no. Come on, come on. Do the wobble wobble with me. Oh man, this looks tough. Come on, baby. Do the wobble wobble. We wanna get the end of the stage right now. Yeah. Come on, baby. Do the wobble wobble now. Get tossed off the plate. You get your ass on now. Oh, wobble wobble. Ready? Go. Fuck. Jones Jason's been dating a girl for a while and he wants to meet her five-year-old daughter. What is a good a good present? How about a bunch of bananas? Every child likes bananas and should be eating bananas for potassium intake. So I would bring her a nice bunch of delicious bananas. That's what I would bring. Very pertinent to what we're doing right now. So I'm gonna glasses and I'm about to put on the vest. As soon as I beat this stage, I'll put on the vest, okay? Ready? Go. Come on, baby. Do the wobble wobble. Now you're getting on the plate and you get tossed around now. Come on, baby. That wobble wobble. You wanna get to the goal and be the stage now. Come on, baby. Go. Wobble wobble. Oh, yeah. Do the wobble wobble with me. Yeah. Very nice. Done it. So that was what? Casual, that was casual challenge. Rookie Monkey Baller. Cleared the SMB1 casual course without the helper function. Nice. Nice. So normal. Oh my god. 35 stages. So this took me about 12, 13 minutes. This is three times as long. So basically I could do this tonight. And that's it. This is a 60 stage challenge run. I might not even be able to beat this on the stream. Now, what was actually recommended to me from someone who explained how this works, they said you might want to put your console in suspend mode and then resume at a later date. But like I said, after tonight, likely I'm just going to go on hold anyway. So what I'll probably do, let's try to beat the normal mode tonight. And then next time around, when I come back to this, we can maybe do expert. But that's going to be a while. Anyway, denim. Denim has won the poll for tonight. We have not seen the denim vest in a ridiculously long time. Seriously. Seriously. Very cool, right? All right. All right, so let's go ahead and do normal. And hopefully that could be normal tonight. 35 freaking stages. So let's hope that it starts with some easy ones. 
Looks like it absolutely does. Ready? Go! Okay. Go! Try to turbo through the quick ones. Ready? Walking. Go! Look at this one. Oh, I see. The only trickiness to it is that you gotta go around a bunch of shit. If you're trying to go for all the bananas, you gotta go all the way down there, which would take a while because all the bumpers, but I don't care about the bananas. I just care about the on stage, so. Alright, cool. Cool! Keep going. Monkey, monkey ball now. Monkey, monkey ball. It's time for the monkeys and the balls. <laughs> monkey ball, monkey ball. Repulse. Oh, look Ready? at that. Repulse? Go. That's what most people say when they meet me. They say repulse if. Repulse if. So I kind of I understand where they're coming from with this one. Alright. Here we go. go. Nice. Thank you, Monkey. Monkey says good outfit. I'm actually storing bananas under my hat. You didn't know. Narrow bridge. Ready? So this is the same as the bridge stage, only much narrower. It's the same exact stage, just a way narrower path to go down. So, okay, cool. Call the juniors to be a dollar hit. Just to hit the challenge when it's optional goals like Mario. If you get them, you get to skip through or head in the mode. You don't have to beat every single stage, but you know when you're trying to time, time constraint. I mean, I would definitely like to beat every stage, though, because that's the whole point, right? To see all the stages in the game. Ready? But I see what you're saying. You're basically saying if you could do certain things optionally, you could uh, skip a lot of the, uh, the grind, right? It looks like some of these stages will be redoing. Like, I already did this one, but we'll do it again. Banana, you collect banana. You love to eat the tasty banana. Suck on the peel. It's slippery, full of potassium. Get banana in your mouth. Perfect. Yum, yum. <laughs> potassium. Yum, yum, yum. All right. Nice to Kevin, thank you. He says, thank you for the amazing stream. Stay blessed, my friend. Thank you, Kevin. Have a good night, man. Thank you for the support tonight. Ready? All right, this one is called Break. Which means basically you can't catch a break. See? <laughs> that was really stupid. There's a no, there's one below me, isn't there? Oh. I think there's a there's a, a gate below. Ready? Go! I don't know how you would get to that one though. Maybe you just roll off like this. Hold on. I think you roll off like this. Like that. So that was an optional gate. Dwarf to stage 10. Look at that. Oh. Did I just skip a bunch of stages? I think I did. I think I did. How, what stage was I on? I don't know what stage that was. Like five or six? We went right to stage 10. Ready? Holy shit. Well, this is weird and wild. Look at this. You only have 30 seconds to get all the bananas with the stages rippling like water. This is actually challenging. Oh my god, this is actually tough, guys. Hurry up! Oh, this Ten, is a bonus stage. No, nine, not really. Eight, oh my god. Seven, six, Yo, five, this is hard. Four, three, two, one, zero. Oh my god, no! Oh, banana! Wow. This is tough. What? Wait, it skipped it. I didn't have to beat Ready? it. Oh, you know why? Because it was considered a bonus stage, Go. huh? That's why, I think. So now, what the hell is this stage? How does this work? Fall out. Ready? How the Go. fuck does this work? I am confused. Oh, wait a minute. No, I 
don't get this. Yeah, this is a giant guitar. I get that. Ten, but... nine, eight, seven, How would I go? Because I see that that optional exit to the right. How would I get to that? Ready, go! I have no idea how to do this. Ready, go! Wow, the only way to get to the optional one was to do that narrowest thing from the beginning. Hurry up! Holy ten, shit! Nine, eight, seven. How would you? Six, out. Wow! Ready, go! Fall out! This is so. Ready, go. This would be ridiculous. And yeah, it's only a sixty, a thirty-second timer now. If you haven't noticed. Camera won't go straight. Without the camera going straight, there's no way I could ever go on this. Hurry up! Ten, nine, fall out. <laughs> Ready, go. Wow. Oh fall shit! Out. That was a complete accident. Ready, go. All right, I guess we're just gonna take a normal path. This is ridiculous. That that one on the on the right is super duper hard, man. Ready, go! Fall out! Ready, go! Fuck this. Old man's part. Old man run. Old man Phil can't do the narrow shit. Hurry up! Take the Ten, easy way out. Nine! Easy way out. Look at this bull. Ready? Go! Go! There we go. That was easy. Very good. Jumpies. Ready? <laughs> Got the jumpies. Go. Oh shit. Fall out. Right to his death. Ready? <laughs> go. Right to his death. of 35. Ready? What the? Go! Oi. Woo! Is one no longer gonna move? It's not, is it? It's stuck. So I have to go another way. Now move! Oh, this is dirty stuff. There we go. go. Okay. <laughs> I think those were they were controlled by the weight. By the, the angle of the weight. Oh look, there's a diner in the background with dancing monkeys in the windows. I just noticed that. A bunch of dancing monkeys. Oh no, 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 not Ready? this! You gotta be fucking kidding! This is a variation of this the hardest stage of that it took me forever to beat, remember? Remember how hard this was for me? It wasn't exactly like this, but it was very similar to this. And it was so difficult. Oh no, why? Why did they do this? Oh no, why? Ready, go. This is torture. No, this is torture. Ready? Why are they doing this? No, 
No, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, Turn around, turn around, you fuckhead. No, no, no. No, 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 Same as that other stage, Ready? same exact premise. Go. If 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 you go too far to one side, because the, the edges of the stage are weighted instead of the center. Instead of the center of the stage, they put all the weight of the stage on the edges of the stage. So if you go anywhere near a side, you're done. You can't actually turn around and recover. And Ready? the thing is the momentum pulls you there. You're not even pushing towards that. The game just rolls you towards it naturally. It's complete bullshit. They it's the stage is not weighted properly like other stages are. They do it on purpose to make this stage incredibly challenging, but it's complete unfair bullshit. Look, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing it. He keeps turning and running towards the camera. I'm holding the other direction completely. It's the game. The game is pulling him that way. No, look, I never did that. I never did it. I'm still not doing it. See? Ready? Go. I'm not doing any of it. The game just does it by itself. It pulls you in that direction. You can't stop the momentum. You're not doing it. It's like there's a, a magnet pulling the ball in that direction. And look, he keeps spinning. I'm not doing that. Not once have I pushed that direction. Not once. See? I didn't do it. I didn't do it. It's doing it by itself. It just keeps pulling and you can't avoid it. It's like Ready? there's a magnet. Go. 
pulling you off the edge. Like, what the fuck is that? Fall out. Ready? Go. Nothing I can do. Fall out. Complete. It's so annoying. Ready? This is just as annoying as the original stage in the in the in the campaign. I hate it. It was one of my most hated stages of the game. And now here's another one that does the same fucking thing. It's so broken. I'm not pushing back. Why are you turning around? Why are you doing Why are you doing that? Stop walking towards the edge. Stop walking towards the fucking edge. Fuck me. That's it. I didn't do any of it. I never did it. I literally never pushed forward. The game just said, oh, walk forward. There's nothing you can do. You just get pulled. It's complete bullshit. It's so fucking frustrating. Done. And I didn't do it. Fall out. Ready? Go. No, you know what it's like? Okay, the best way I can describe this, imagine you have a plate, okay? An empty plate. And you put a bunch of metal marbles in the plate, okay? So you tilt the plate Fall one way, out. the marbles start to roll. Okay, that makes Ready? sense. But then Go. the marbles hit the side of the plate and all of a sudden the whole plate tilts that way. That's exactly what's happening here. It's acting like you have a plate full of metal marbles. So all of a sudden, things are pulling you in the direction, and you can't stop it. This is not how physics would work in real life, by the way. At all. Fall out. Ready? Go! Gray Fox, I wish I could control the stopping the checkers. I can't. It's the momentum. See, I'm not doing it. I never... I'm holding Fall down back, out. and the game is running forward. I'm not pushing Ready? that direction. Go. So there's no way I can counter the momentum of the ball if I'm not pushing that direction. I didn't I didn't start that movement to begin with. See, I'm not doing it. That's the game. The game is pulling me that way. The game did it right there. I didn't do it. The game's doing it again. Not doing it! I'm not doing it! <laughs> All I want to do is slowly tap so I can go around the corner. And instead he just walks a million steps forward. It's like you have a broken controller. It feels like your controller's fucking busted with the thumbsticks doing whatever it wants when in reality it's just bad. It's a bad physics. You should be able to cut the corners light enough so there's not enough momentum to fuck you over, but the game won't let you cut the corners. Look! I'm cutting the corner! Why is he turning around? I'm cutting the corner. But the game is still pulling me this way for no fucking good reason. Can't do it. Look at this. What the fuck? I didn't do it. I didn't do it, man. This is so frustrating. I'm not doing it. The game changes the direction. I'm, it's just fucking bullshit. It's so bullshit. Fall out. Ready? Go. Chris B. Give me a dollar fifty and says I'm. I, people think I'm doing this purposefully. No, I'm not. The game is. I'm telling you, the game's physics. There. What it is is they've weighted the edges of the platform. Instead of this being. Oh, this is on a central hinge. Fall out. And you can weigh it back and forth. The game Ready? has it so that it's like Go. a weighted edges of the platform, which isn't correct. That's not proper physics at all. It's as if someone's dangling heavy weights off the edge of the platform, which is not the case. It shouldn't, look at that. It shouldn't be because you took one step in that direction, you no longer can stop. Ready? It doesn't make any sense at all. It's exactly the same as the stage during the mid campaign. It was this hard because you can't control the, gun the monkey. You just can't. I'm halfway over and it's still pulling me back. I have to keep tapping forward. I'm serious. It's that bad. I can't, I can't stop it. I can't stop it. I can't, what the Fall fuck? Out. You can't stop it. Ready, go. You seriously can't. I don't know how you're supposed to fucking do it when you have to get lucky or something. Cause you can't, there's no skill to this. I'm tapping, I'm holding, I'm doing everything in the correct direction. And the game is tossing me in the other direction instead. Like there's Fall nothing out. I can do about it. Ready, go. That is frustrating. 
So it looks like there's no way I'm beating this tonight. Because they threw this stage into it. Which is going to halt all progress. And I'm, I'm not even beat this tonight. This stage. This broken fucking stage. Look at that. Fall out. Completely broken. Ready? Go. What happened? I didn't, did, I didn't tell it I wanted to cross. Fall out. I never said yes. Ready? Go. I never told it I wanted that. Or did it not? Now I don't know because I thought I only had 30 seconds, but now it says I had 60. So now I don't know what's going on. Fall out. Ready? Go. I hope the help assumption didn't turn on. I didn't want it. Nothing I could do. Fall out. Ready? Go. Not doing this. Not doing it. It's still not doing it. Can't do it. Look at that. Are you shitting me? I was completely hooking back and right. And the game pulled me forward and left. <laughs> I was hooking completely the other direction. And the game took me the other one instead. Now this is ridiculous. It's so dumb. It again the uh, the thing that pisses me off about this. This is stage 15. There hasn't been a single stage to challenge me now. All of a sudden, they throw in this stage with this insane ridiculous physics that is so unbeatable. And it's like, what do you want me to do differently exactly to beat this? I can't I just gotta get lucky. Ready, go! Fall out! Ready, go! Fall out! Ready, go! Can't stop it. Look at this. What did I do to do this? Nothing. I was never even there. Ready? Go. <sighs> I just give up. At this point, like I don't want to do this tonight anymore. Seriously, because why did they throw this stage in like this? For this is not fun. This is the same frustrating stage from earlier that I already beat. I already beat the harder version of it. I don't want to do this version of it now and do the same stage again. That's so fucking annoying. And I know the physics don't really work right. This is so annoying to me. And they had to throw this at me again tonight. This sucks ass. Truthfully, there's really nothing here that challenges me up to now, so it doesn't really matter if I have to redo all these stages again in the future date, but the fact that these stages are in here, these are the stages that you do not want to play it. Seriously, like, this is not fun. This is not challenging or in in ingenuous. This is just, oh, bad physics. <laughs> oh, bad physics. Fuck you. Car no snarl did a super chat says dinner stuff. Okay. Ready, go! There he goes, not doing that. Not doing that. He's pulling himself. Can't do it. Are you shitting me? He was going the right way and then just turned around and ran off the edge. <laughs> Again, I didn't do it. It just does it by itself. It's fucking terrible. Oh my god. Ready, go! 
son. <laughs> it does what it wants. It does whatever it wants. What's hilarious is after this, the stages will be much easier. Like I said, the game doesn't seem to have any order of balance or order of building the difficulty. It's just every stage is random. You might have a stage that's tough as fuck, and then <laughs> and then a bunch of stages after that that are insanely easy. Hello, Jose. Thank you for the super chat. Look at this, I'm not doing that! Ready, a stole foes bold to the super chat and said I'm I'm tipping to make trolls mad, but you're not tipping. You're super chatting. Super chatting does help though. And thank you for the super chat. I appreciate that. I'm sure many trolls are angry right now. Here we go, I'm not doing it. I really don't know how to do this. I, just like the other stage, the, the only way that I could do this stage previously in the main campaign was because you weren't on a small track. You could maintain some uh, some momentum. And having that momentum, you could use the momentum to pull you. Here, there's no room to build momentum. So you just have to maneuver just minute twists and turns. So there's no momentum to save you here. This is, I'm not even, this is actually harder than the one in the campaign was. And that one was fucking tough. This is even harder. <laughs> this sucks. Ready? I was actually having fun with this mode until this, so that, you know. Oh, you have to do 35 stages in one run. Oh, but here's a stage that is fucking impossible and takes you an hour to beat. Well, then it, then you ruined Ready? it. <laughs> you really have. Like, that ruins the whole idea of the challenge run. Walking super forward at, at super speed, right? I barely tapped forward. It's like he's dashing when I, I did a little nudge. Yep, that's it. Fall out. Ready, go. That's it. Look, he went by himself. <laughs> I, by the way, I never stepped outside. Uh, well, who is it? Straight Fox says you can't step past two. You get to the third block, you lose. You get all, off the edge. I was on the second block and it still pulled me down. Yep. Ready? Go. There he goes. I can't control. I can't control him. I can't. He's doing what he wants. He's doing whatever he wants, and I can't stop it. Oh my god. That was ridiculously over the top difficult for no fucking good reason. Wow. Conveyor. Ready? Go! What was I saying about I told you the next stage will be nowhere near as hard? <laughs> oh my god! Exam B, I see. 
I guess these exams are supposed to test your, your minute control of the ball, right? Like that was terrible. Very bad control. Ready, go! Stop going right. All I'm doing is tapping forward. You could drop down, but you'll probably bounce. Fuck that. <laughs> I don't care. I'll cheat. I'm not doing that weird shit over there. Okay. Chaser. Ready? Chat? No, I didn't. I read all these out. I just haven't updated the leaderboard because I'm trying to concentrate on progress. So this is the bonus stage. Ready? I don't have to get all these bananas. Go. I wonder if you get a reward for actually getting them all, right? right at the start. I knew it too. I knew this was gonna happen because this mode makes you do all the stages together. That's a huge problem. Fall 
Not everyone has unlimited time to just do 35 stages. And I skipped a bunch, too. I hit a warp that skipped a bunch of stages, and I'm still out of time. This requires, like, two or three hours of time to be sure you have enough to do it. I can't, I can't make the turn quickly enough to not get hit by the bumper. <laughs> okay. The other thing is it's slippery. It's like it feels like you're slippery, like you're sliding on, on ice or, or grease. Come on. Ready? Go. I don't think we're gonna be able to do this tonight. I think we're done. Yeah, we're done. Ready, go! Nothing can be done. I try, guys, but this is a, they're throwing in these ridiculously way more challenging stages in the middle of a bunch of easy ones. That hard, exactly. See what I mean? Collapse. Ready? Go. You see? There was nothing hard about that at all. Do you see what I mean? <laughs> Ridiculous. Swing bar. Ready? Go! Omar, I need a little bit more momentum. Ready? Go! Go. See? <laughs> I'm time to run through five, six, seven stages. Labyrinth. Ready? Go. Like the movie. Labyrinth. What? Wow. That was bad. Ready? Go. stage at the end there's a hole and you lose what the fuck was that
I need a momentum to do it. That's what it was. Oh my god. Whew. Spiral. Ready? Go! is getting 100% bananas and you unlock anything besides the trophy or achievement. Apparently, Dole Bananas will send you a lifetime supply of bananas. All at once. You get, like, maybe, like, seven, 800 pounds of bananas all get shipped to your house. Fall out. Ready? Go! All right, Big Papa Plump has stopped by to give me a dollar for just like, wanted to say, hope you're having a good night. Wanted to stop by before bed. Sounds good, man. Thank you, Big Papa Plump, for the tip. It's good to see you. I hope you're having a good night. Thank you for the support. Wish you the best. So let's try this again. Again with this fucking stupid shit? This is dumb. No, this is seriously fucking dumb. Question, no, you can't drop from above. You need the momentum. Ready, this off. You can definitely drop, but you'll never hit the ring. The, the, uh, ring. I do like these stages. I'm enjoying them. But it just sucks. They make you do so many fucking stages back to back to beat it. Like, dude, this is way too many. 35 and I did some skips and it's taking forever certain stages. I don't have two or three hours to do every challenge run, you know? Fall out. Ready? Go. Uh, all right. If I don't beat this in the next one or two attempts, we're calling it a night. My wife is waiting. Spend time with me. God damn it. Enough of the monkey banana business. <laughs> enough of the banana business. I've been doing the banana business for over three weeks. I've had enough of the banana business. All right? Maybe we'll come back to the banana business in the future, but I think I had enough bananas for it to last me a long time now. Again, but here's the problem. That last incline is curved more than the rest. So the rest you can actually control going back and forth. Once you hit that final incline, you just get propelled down to the right. So you have to hit that final incline as far to the left as possible. Because you can't move back left again. So once you hit that final turn, you have to be like on the very edge, it feels like. I was trying to be on the edge, and then the, the stupid, Ready, the momentum took me out of the ring. And again, there's nothing wrong with this stage at all. The problem is the way they built it. They basically made this almost like a roguelike. Oh, you have to beat all these stages back to back. There's no saving your progress. And if you don't save, you gotta start from the beginning. Like, what? Why? Why can't I save my game now? Just like I've been doing with the campaign all along. Why can't I save my progress and resume later? No, they don't let you do that. Not in this mode. Okay. No, I've never had the frozen chocolate the bananas. I've seen them, but i never had them. Wavy jump. Ready? Go! Fall out! Ready? Go! Fall out! Ready? Go!
spiky. Ready? Go! Go! Do you see the difference? <laughs> I think I stand. I, I, my point stands. Look how easy some of these are. <clears throat> On rest. Ready? Go! Fall out! Ready? Go! Fall out! Ready? Go! Fuck that. Unrest? I call that rush the fuck through. Fuck that shit. <laughs> oh my god, at least... Ready? Mwah! Go! Wow. Oh, you know what this reminds me? This reminds me of a game I played. Ready? Go. Kind of like Frogger. But there was a different game that I played that wasn't Frogger that was similar, and that's kind of what this feels like. Ready? Go! Ready, go! Why? Dude, he won't step on that platform. Ready, go! For some odd reason, he just won't step onto that one. It's like, it's right in front of him and he won't do it. <laughs> Is it the ones going to the left he steps on easily? The ones going to the right? No, I take that back. The ones going to the left he has a problem stepping on. Seriously. Ready, go! You know what I'm also noticing? Ready, go. I'm not moving when I step onto the platform. Take a look. My body stays in the center. So I have to, main, I have to constantly tap the thumbstick to stay still, which makes no sense. It should be, you should be able to just stand still. You can't. <laughs> you can't just stand still at all. It doesn't work. There. Okay. Can I possibly beat four more? Ready? Wait a minute. I already beat this one. Oh, hold on. It's harder. It's the same as the other one, only more challenging. It's moving faster. See that? There you go. Okay. Hard hitter. Only look at this. He's spinning super fast and super hard. Oh, almost. This is why this one's hard. I played the easy mode, this is the harder one. Yep, you gotta wait for it to slow down and take your shot. Ready, go! That was it, and I missed it. I don't know. I don't know how to do this. This is ridiculously hard right now. It really is. Hurry up! Ten! Go! There! Okay. Oh! Puzzle. Oh! Ready? Go! Fall out! Puzzle. Ready? Go! Ready, go! Fall out! 
Ready, go! Fall out! Ready, go! It is banana plate again. Ready? I beat this already, but this one is moving faster than before. It's harder. So it's moving way faster. Ready, go. Fall out. <sighs> this and one Ready, more stage and I'm done. How much you want to put the final stage is a bonus stage, too? Fall out. Ready, go. Fall out. Ready, go. Okay, please let this be a bonus stage. 
No! It's this again! Final stage! Ready? Go! Wow. Fall out! Wow. Ready? Go! Wow! Come on! Ready? Go! Ready, go. <laughs> Fall out. I can't. The problem is you Ready, can't have the ball go. sit still. You can never just have the ball not move, and because of that, you can't easily just have the ball move across the platform. He's always hitting something. See that? He's always moving and hitting. He can't just. If he could just sit still, like Frogger, is tough. But in Frogger, your frog isn't constantly sliding. You know what I'm saying? In this, your monkey is constantly fucking moving and sliding. Uh, I'm stuck. Well, I'm out of time now, and I'm in the last fucking stage, and I'm out of time. Can you believe this shit? To be out of stage, to be out of time now. After all this effort. Fall out. Fuck this hat. Ready? This Go. Fucking hat's bothering me. Fall nah, out. this is terrible. Ready? This really is. This is terrible because your guy is so wiggly and shit. Just stay still. <laughs> he won't just... uh, It's like he has fucking uh, What is that? That disorder? You just can't stay still You gotta constantly be moving your body around He's got it He won't just chill <laughs> You can't Tony did this is use a small character With the challenge mode You can't change characters you're stuck with the same character the entire time. There's nothing you can do about it. Ready, go! He's moving by himself. I'm not, I didn't do that. He kept moving by himself. Ready? Go. This sucks. It just sucks. It's stupid. It's stupid that there's he keeps moving. He fidgets and moves the ball. When you're not touching anything, he moves it. So you can't have pinpoint accurate control of the ball ever, because the ball's constantly moving. Fall out. Ready, go. Thank you, Big Bob a Pump. You just hit me the last one. I don't I don't think I can do it. This is, this would take like 20, 30 minutes. I don't have that time, guys. I don't. It's fucking already I've already gone 20 minutes overtime tonight. And this is ridiculously stupid that they would put this like this at the end. <laughs> With no checkpoints. What the fuck? What? Dude, I have no idea. You saw that, right? I was on platforms. The platforms moved under me and didn't take me with them. They literally just kept moving. How am I supposed to do the stage if the platforms don't take me with them? Right? Go! Yeah, this is, this is like impossible. Ready, go. This is this would be a one that would take me like an hour to do. Seriously, this would be one where you have to like practice for an hour and figure out the right the right direction, the right strategy. Once I get to the, the faster Ready, ring, how do you get across? Because look, there's like ten of them out there. There's a ridiculous amount of the fast rings out there. You see that? That's fucking nuts.
And then on top of that, do you see that? So once you get to the outer ring, then you have to wait for that thing to rotate and go over it or something. I don't even know how you do that. How the fuck do you do that? Look at that. So once I beat the inner rings and I get to the outer rings, there's another whole different challenge. I have no idea how the fuck you're supposed to do. You see that, right? How are you supposed to get over that? This is fucking stupid. I put all that effort in to get this far, and now I can't do it. <laughs> I feel like I, w I wasted the last hour. I do. I feel like I terribly wasted the last hour because of this game mechanic of, oh, you can't resume later. What a bunch of fucking assholes. Ready, go. Can't stop your momentum. Ready, go. Forget it. This is fucking stupid. This is incredibly stupid. I'll never be able to get across there. Never. That's a joke, man. What the fuck? Fall out. Ready, go. Fall out. Ready, go. It seems like Fall out. you can line it all up. Ready, go. See? You can line all that up. Okay. What the fuck? I wasn't touching anything. I wasn't touching it. He, would, he rolled off by himself. He rolled off by his fucking self. Just, if you would just stop for half a second and not roll completely in the opposite direction, I would love that. If there was a way to slow him down but not have him completely turn around and roll off like a fucking asshole, that would be ideal. But he just keeps moving. This is the problem. He's got this weird momentum that he won't stop moving. I've got a half an hour right now. My wife's gonna be furious with me. She is. She's gonna be really mad at me. She's gonna beat me up. <laughs> this sucks. And now, guys, this is gonna be it. Because now, as you don't see, now the fucking piece of shit is coming to troll. And he's gonna distract me. There's no way I'm gonna be able to do it now. The piece of garbage has shown up. There's nothing I'm gonna be able to, there's no way I can concentrate and moderate when I'm already in overtime and trying to hurry to do this. I, there's no way, so that's gonna be it. Ready, go! How the fuck do I do this? Hurry up! Ten! Nine! How the fuck do you do that? Fuck this game. No, I mean it. Fuck this game. How the fuck do you do that? There's no path. There's no path across. I made it all the way and there's no path across.
I made it all the way and there's no logical path across. None. Look, there's none. Fuck this. Nah, I'm done. I, I'm already going to half an hour late. Fuck this. It's terrible. Yeah, I'm going to sit here. I'm going to sit here and try to fucking brainstorm this puzzle for the next fucking four hours. No, I'm not. Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania. It's a great game. And it also is incredibly time-consuming and frustrating. Um, I'm really happy that I played it. But those challenge runs are terrible. Because no one should have to sit there and play the whole run from start to fucking finish. Seriously. You shouldn't have to... It's not a roguelike game. That's what I mean. Like, this seems like they... This is a roguelike formula. Which I don't like to begin with. So, anyway. I like the game. I'm glad that I played it. I want to say, guys, thank you so much for watching my playthrough of Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania. This adjourns it. Will I ever go back to the game? That's uncertain. If you guys really want to see me go back, the thing is, it looks like the most I could ever do is one of those runs in one stream. That's it. It's the only way I could ever do it is more one run because it's too time consuming. You know what I mean? Like that's ridiculous the amount of time it takes to do one of those runs. Like that was over an hour. It was an hour and a half and that was only normal. Imagine trying to do the 60 stages. That would be like a three plus hour stream if I could even do it. All right. So what I'll say is this. I liked the game. I really enjoyed playing it. Thank you to those who supported it. I really appreciate you chilling. I appreciate you supporting these streams. They were great. Um... Maybe I will, or maybe I won't ever go back to it. You know what I hope? I hope that they make a new one. Because there hasn't been a Super Monkey Ball in a long time, right? Because I think that they made, they went on to do other stuff. This is the same people who make Yakuza and stuff like that. I don't know if Sega will ever make another one, but that was actually pretty good. So Carlos says, here's a haiku to end the game. Super Monkey Ball, another great playthrough done. Thank you for, thanks for the support. And that's, that, that is the perfect way to, to end it. Thank you for the support. Thank you everyone for watching. If I ever go back to it, I'll let you know. But for now, this is effectively the end of the playthrough. Thank you. See you later.